What's going on guys? Um making another video because um I don't know the majority of people that are watching my videos are kids or upcoming barbers that are new to this. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of advice. Um I have my little cousin, he's learning how to cut hair, right? So bought him a pair of clippers and um because I'm like, I'll support you, you know, I'll support you or whatnot. So he wants to learn how to cut hair. I'm, I went through this, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going through it. So I want to give you a little bit of advice and a little bit of encouragement. Um, you're going to fuck up. Don't think that your first haircut, you're going to, you know, knock it out the park. You're going to be like the best barber in the world. No, you're going to mess up. Like I told my little cousin, you think Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, when they first messed up, you think they just gave up? No. You know, they kept working hard. They kept working hard uh, until they achieved their goal. So I'm not comparing barbering to basketball. I'm just saying, same concept. Don't give up because you made one mistake. Um, he cut my hair today, you know, and I had to go bald. I don't have an issue with that. I'll support you until the end. You know why? Because I went through that when I was starting out. Um, I made mistakes. I gave up. I sold all my clippers because I was like, I don't want to mess nobody up no more, you know. But then I still had my friends that were like supporting me like, hey, man, I'll let you cut my hair. Uh, my cousins were like, hey, I'll let you cut my hair for free. Um, you know, whatever, if you mess up, you know, they were supporting me. So I'm telling you guys, just because you guys messed up one person or two people, don't give up. You know, keep moving forward because that's how you learn from your mistakes. And if you don't make mistakes, how do you plan to learn from something? You know, great. You know, there, there's some people out there that say, hey, you know, my first haircut was amazing. Good for you, man. You know, you're lucky. Good for you. But some of us, we have to work hard. You have to, you know, put a lot of time and a lot of effort into wanting to learn because, if you mess up, it's okay. And you're going to have people that are going to talk down on you, man. You're going to have people laugh the way you cut hair. Like today we went to the basketball court and we had uh, a couple people saying, man, you fucked them up, you know, blah, 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 blah. And I told them while we were going there, I told them, I was like, hey, when we get there, they're going to talk smack, you know, whatever, ignore it, you know, because you're still learning. And that's exactly what they did. When we got out the car, damn, man, who cut your hair? They fucked you up, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, he took it like a man. He was like, I did, you know, but whatever. I'm learning. I'll get better. And I respect him for that. You know why? Because he texted me afterward. He's like, man, I'm still wanting to learn. Um, tomorrow, I'm a, he doesn't have Wi-Fi. So he's like, tomorrow when I go to my friend's house, I'm going to use their Wi-Fi and watch videos. You know, watch Chris Bazio, e, e. Jones TV, um, all these good barbers that uh, do tutorials on YouTube. And I respect him for that. Um, that's the only reason I'm making this video, trying to push you guys I'm not a professional barber. I'm not a professional videotaper, you know, all that. I just do it because out of the 10 hundreds or 50 views I get, I hope I inspire one of you guys. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, um, be the best out here or claim that I am, but I hope my advice helps you guys because when I was down, you know, I only had a few picking me up and I wish there was a little bit more, but it, all it takes is one person to help you up. Um, but yeah. You guys keep pushing, keep moving forward, want to learn, keep doing research, watch videos, ask other barbers. I used to go to barber shops too and trying to ask other barbers, hey, can you help me out? I'll, I'll clean your station if you know you help me out, this and that. And you know, one barber shop actually let me in and said, Hey man, come in, we'll uh we'll teach you this, blah blah blah. And I appreciate that. And then when I come home, I start learning. And doing the things they taught me and it, it worked i was like whoa you know this is pretty cool there are barbers out there that are doing the same thing i'm doing trying to teach other people you know for free you guys just need to go out there and find them you know don't sit at your house you know like this with your door closed sitting on your chair waiting for people to come to you no that's not how it works uh you got to go out there you got to meet people you got to actually move because that's how you get more money in this industry um you know me and my wife went out and we walked for like two hours and I'm putting flyers up on trees, putting business cards on cars, handing business cards out. I will be at Walmart or I'll be at the mall. And if I see like somebody walking down and I see their hair, you know, I could do better. Um, I will go up to them, introduce myself to them and give them my business card and be like, hey, you come see me. I'll give you a free haircut for the first time. And the reason why I did that was because I know that once they know that I'm not a actual barber or at a barbershop, they might think twice. So you want to bring them in by saying, hey, I'll, I'll give you a free haircut, man. I'll hook you up. And that, people like free shit, man. People like free stuff all the time. So when you say that and they actually like the work you did, they're going to come back and they're going to pay you. So um, don't think that the first time you cut hair, you're actually going to make money. It doesn't work like that, man. You got to take your time. 
I've been doing this for about three years now. And at this point of time in my life, you know, I'm making good money doing this as a side job because I have an actual uh, eight to five job and I make good money doing that. But this right here, man, I, I love this. You know, I can't compare. Um, but after three years, I'm actually making good money. And two years down the road, I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to double my uh, my income just cutting hair. And uh, by two years right now, I hope I have my license. And a little bit further on, I hope I have my own shop. That's my dream. I want to have my own shop. Um, but I just want to inspire you guys, man, because I know you'll be home stressing like, man, I know I fucked that dude's head up and, you know, man, I'm not going to cut hair no more. I'm, I'm just going to give up. Man, don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. Don't be a quitter. Push yourself. Uh, be better. Admit to your mistakes. If you fucked up, I admire you because you said I fucked up. But don't sit there saying I'm going to give up. No, don't do that. Keep moving, man. If this is what you really want to do, just because you mess somebody up, it doesn't mean you got to give up. You know, improve yourself. Find out where you messed up. Admit it and figure out how you can change it the next time they come to you. Um, all you got to do is just keep pushing. Because if you don't and you give up, man, you're not going to make it in this game, man. You're not. And I'm pretty sure you probably won't make it somewhere else. Because if you just quit that easy, you're not going to make it. You're just going to be a follower for the rest of your life. You don't want to do that, man. I want everybody that's watching this, I want y'all to have that mentality of a leader. Y'all want to be leaders, especially doing this, man. You guys want to keep improving yourself and be leaders cuz you don't if you don't want to work for somebody, keep pushing. If you want to work for somebody, hey, that's great. All respect to you. But if you are tired of being told what to do, if you're tired of working 8 to 5 and doing something you don't love doing, then change something in your life, but don't give up. Because if you give up, you know, that's that's your fault. You got to live with that for the rest of your life. And, you can, you know, I'm sorry my videos are boring. I'm sitting on a chair looking at a mirror. I'm sorry, but I hope these, uh, this video helps you out and actually, you know, um, pushes you forward and, you know, encourages you. Because, you know, this is a good hobby, job, you know, whatever you want to call it. I love this. I love cutting hair. So, um, hope you guys... Uh, take this to heart and um, yeah if you have any questions let me know you guys have a great night God bless y'all